Well, with that, there's just one more level to do here in Summer Forest, so it's time for Aquaria Towers. In we go! guys are jerks. The funny looking guys with the shock sticks have drained all our water. We can't get it back unless someone activates the switches they're guarding. Guess that someone is us. Ouch. There's nothing else we can do here right now. Sparks, there's a gym you missed. <laughs> Just FYI, don't jump into shark infested waters. It's not very smart, even if you're a dragon. Did I get hit by him, or did I like get past that unscathed? Oh, I got hit. Hi, Spyro. You must be tougher than you look to get here. All the same, you won't be able to get past the metal sharks up ahead. I suppose I could let you borrow my submarine, though. For a modest fee, of course. Yeah, actually, I kind of want to look around. Were there any gems? No, there's not. Hi, Spyro. You must... A pleasure doing business with you, Spyro. This submarine is 100% shark-proof. I guarantee it. I'm actually surprised he only charges a hundred gems for that. It's awfully cheap by money bag standards. I need to stop getting hit by shock stick, guys. Anyway, with that, I do believe we have solved the seahorse's water problems, but there is still so much more to do in this level. So we are not even close to being done yet. I'm 
not going to talk to him and get the talisman just yet. I'll save that for the very end. Finish the level off. So anyway, with this super flame power-up, we will actually be able to deal with those metal sharks. Also, there's a skill point for destroying all the seaweed. Uh-oh. Oh. Okay, that was close. Any seaweed down here? No, okay. Just go get that power up again. We don't need the submarine anymore because we can just uh, use the super flame to get rid of the sharks. And that pretty much solves our shark problems. Oh, I got all the seaweed here, too. Good. I think that's all the seaweed down here on the lower level. I also think that's all the gems on the lower level, hopefully. Probably wondering, what am I talking about lower level? Well... Yeah, we're gonna go up there now. This is the real Aquaria Towers. Yeah, there's a whole upper portion to this level. You know, on my first playthrough of this game, I don't think I even knew about this. Like, I was missing a whole bunch of stuff in Aquaria Towers. I don't think I found out that there was, like, a hole in the ceiling that I could swim up into until, like, my second playthrough, maybe. I don't know. I mean, that was over half my lifetime ago, so I have no idea if that memory is accurate, but I don't think I knew about this on my first playthrough. And there's still more seaweed. Let's just go ahead and get the seaweed thing out of the way. one. Good! Got it. Now all we have to worry about is getting the rest of the treasure and the rest of the orbs. Of which we have gotten none yet in this level. They're all gotten up here. Lots of treasure hidden up here around these towers. It's pretty easy to miss treasure in this level. How much do I have left? I have 16 more. 14 more. 12 more. 10 more. I might be missing a topaz somewhere. If 
I ever do miss treasure in this level, it's usually up here somewhere. No, I don't want to talk to you yet, Hunter. I want to get the rest of the treasure. There's usually like a bottle I'm missing here. You know, I don't know. I don't think I'm missing a bottle this time. Oh. Right, forgot about these. Okay, there we go. Now to go do all the orb related stuff. Okay, where where's the seahorse guy? There he is. Let's go ahead and do this one first. The water workers have kidnapped six of my children and hidden them in the tops of these numbered towers. I borrowed some explosives to blast the doors off the towers. If you can make it to the top of the six numbered towers, my children will be safe. My question is, how is he detonating these explosives? And why doesn't he just, like, blow up all the doors at once? Like, why can you only do them one at a time? Why am I still questioning the logic of this game? I, I don't know. I really don't know. Also, considering this is electricity and we're underwater, you'd think just being in the general vicinity of those would hurt you, but... Once again, shouldn't question Spyro logic. I guess it's magical electricity. Maybe it doesn't really conduct in water. I don't know. This one's super easy because there's not even any electricity in it. Like, oh yeah, we'll just put like a crab in here. Probably the easiest enemy in the game. Well, not the easiest, but I don't know. The crabs just always felt pathetic to me. Maybe it's just how they shatter into like 15 pieces when you kill them. But I don't know. They just always they they always seemed to me like they were the weakest enemy in the game. Even more so than those lizard guys from the first level. Tower 5 was this way. Oh, don't want to talk to you yet. There's one enemy remaining, and I just heard like a crab scuttering around somewhere. Actually, I think he might be in the final tower. I keep hearing crab fiddling noises, but whatever. What am I saying fiddling? I mean crab walking. Or maybe that's just part of the music and I never really noticed it before, I don't know. So yeah, I kind of suck at ascending that tower. You did it! Now we can swim in peace. I heard that you were collecting these orbs. Please take this one. 
Oh, if I missed one enemy, it don't matter because that's not even a permanent count anyway. It has nothing to do with 100%. You don't get anything for it, so whatever. Like, they respawn and the count goes back to zero as soon as you re enter a level anyway, so really does not matter. Anyway, the, the other two orbs in this level are gotten from Hunter here. I've been trying to tame my new pet manta ray, but he just won't obey me. Hey, you're just about the right size to ride on his back! Great! Hop on his back and guide him through each of the rings of bubbles as it appears. And remember, he's brand new, so try not to get him dented or scratched up. Hunter, he's not a vehicle. <laughs> Unless he is, and this is like a robot Manta Ray or something. I don't even know. But yeah, this is pretty easy. Well done! I suppose I owe you something for that. Here, take this orb. I found it in one of my flippers. Oh, and let me guess, you have another one in your other flipper, don't you? Now that the Manta Ray's tamed, I'd love to get him into racing shape. Care to take him through a harder course? If I get an orb for it. Okay, good luck! So this is basically the same thing, it's just way longer. Oh, I actually failed that. You wild ride, huh? Okay, good luck. You've got real talent. I could use a partner like you. You can have the orb I found in my other flipper, too. Oh right, we still don't. Oh yeah, we still didn't get, didn't get the talisman. I was like, wait, why is it not complete? <laughs> I was thinking there was another orb. I'm like, what the heck? I thought there were only three orbs in this level. Our world is wet again. We all want you to have this talisman of Aquaria Towers to remember us by. That's it for Aquaria Towers.